Hello, Receptosauri. I'm Septa. I'm Soar, and this is us. And today we're checking out Life Goes On by BTS. Yes, this is the next song on our journey through the Proof album. This is still like COVID times. Yeah. And um, we did check out the lyrics ahead of time. And it is very obviously about that. <laughs> and how yes. the world stopped, but the seasons kept going and time kept going because life goes on. Even when... It seems like it shouldn't because everything else is frozen. <laughs> I loved the lyrics. I thought that they phrased a lot of things really well. Yeah. And I'm really, really excited to hear how that lyrical structure is going to be put into the song. Right. I still have mine in my car. That's fair. It's way more chill than I thought it'd be. I know. It's prime time for gaming, let's go. <laughs> Immediately makes me think of uh, his other song. Yeah. Why so serious? Why so serious? That's massive. Y'all look so oh, comfy. So I want to be comfy like that. Jeez. <laughs> I'd probably be napping with him as well. Yes. Like That was a chill end, like video wise. I like how they did yes. it. It was super relaxing. So and like just ha all hanging out, just enjoying, enjoying some tunes. Yeah. And then I do like that it was like a nod to the fact that they're having to like perform in 
empty venues, basically. Yeah, it's it's really interesting. I want to see a documentary about the music industry then not like the impact of necessarily like profits and stuff but how the bands decide to cope with it yeah because like Like the emotional impact on musicians yeah because uh they did their thing but then there's like trivium and they're like we're gonna live stream a uh a concert and it's gonna be awesome and then there was one okay who also did something similar but they also had like wonder come out which was like in the huge stadium with nobody there Mm -hmm. it's just really cool um how music was like such an important part of keeping people kind of glued together and not lose their minds Mm -hmm. while everything was just kind of up in the air and scary and i think that it it, like it ties into even like the title of the song Mm -hmm. (laughs) life goes on because yeah a lot of things had to stop but We had to figure out how to continue other things like music and art. And I think that it was really fortunate that we had the internet. (laughs) I know. But I I really, really like that. And I like all of the different visual aspects that they tied into it. Like driving around in your car and having to look around at like places that should be full Mm -hmm. that aren't. Him just like looking at that performance venue. Just like... (sighs) I also like how he, he be took there. off his mask. Like, first thing, you, like, it was just such a routine, car, you know, yep. which was also interesting. Then, like, just, like, the close friends locked in together. Yeah, playing video games and stuff, yeah. which was, like, another great way for people to kind of stay connected. Mm-hmm. Was playing games together online, stuff like that. Yeah. I really liked it. It was super sweet. It's little, this is, like, one of those songs that I I, I have to be in a certain mood to really bop hard. Mm-hmm. I'm not in that mood often, which is good because usually it's like a, it's more of like a depressed kind of sad mood where I'm like, I just need something kind of uplifting a little bit more chill. You, you know what I mean? But I do, I do like it. Like if it came on, you know, I'd be chill with it. I really liked it. And I really enjoyed that chorus. The way that the lines moved and how they had them layered was so pleasing to my ear holes. I loved it. And then at the very end, when they were just on the stage, they changed it up and there was a little bit of like them playing with those vocal lines and having some fun with it. And it was so satisfying. I absolutely loved it. I'm going to listen to this one a lot. I don't know how, but it just stole my heart. And I'm ready to hear it again already. Hell yeah. (laughs) But I do think that they accomplished their mission with this song. I feel like it sent the perfect message of, yeah, this is super weird, but we got to find out how our new normal is going to happen and just do it. (laughs) Because life goes on. So let's figure something out and still find out how to like connect with each other and have a good time it was just beautiful i think they picked the lyrics very well and i think that the videography was beautiful it's like a nice little package too with like dynamite since it it was they're kind of they're made at the same time around the same time for like the same reasons Mm -hmm. dynamite's just kind of fun yeah. That's, that's just kind of a fun one. Yeah, that's the let's forget all of those things that are happening and just have a good time. Yeah, and then this one's like addressing them directly, what's going on, but still being like, but it's okay. It's okay that things are weird. Everything's going to eventually get back to normal, probably, hopefully. Um, but being like, it's okay if you feel weird. It's okay if you are uncomfortable with all this. We are too. Like, it's we're all in this together, kind of, you know, mm-hmm. high school musical style. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you're going to go all the way with that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I wasn't going to sing it because I can't sing, but. I want to know if this is anybody's favorite song or if this is like the song that had them discover BTS. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how big this song was. Obviously, Dynamite like hit charts and was like freaking huge. Yeah, that one blew up. Uh, So I'm curious, too, about like uh, how many people like heard this song and got into BTS through it. Yeah. You know, or just, you know, yeah, if it's, is this your favorite song? They have so many good ones. So that's, that's a hard choice. It's, that's an impossible choice yeah. is what it is. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if it's one of your 50 favorite songs, mm-hmm. let us know. Yeah. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. Maybe even hit that bell. We have tons of other BTS reactions if you want to check those out. We also react to live BTS content over on our Patreon for our top tier patrons. We try to do it every week, do one video every week. Um, sometimes we miss a week and then uh, we just dump all of them into a single week. Uh, but we try to keep on top of it and give you guys content. Yes. We have another channel called Septa and Soar where we talk about kind of whatever we want. Until next time. Always remember that we love you. Stay safe and healthy and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Septa Sorai. Bye.